Uh, I'm Oliver. Um, I come from Berlin and I'm the founder of an open source project called worldbrain.io. I'm the founder of this project and uh, what we're developing is a peer-to-peer -peer search engine for personal and collective knowledge. So imagine you can do research around battery technologies and instead of using Google and figuring out yourself what is quality information and what is contextual information, you could search inside Elon Musk's knowledge and say like, ah, oh, what, what did Elon read about lithium mining and what kind of background information did he find in the form of papers, very good social media posts, etc. That's uh, the kind of social part, the collective intelligence part, but um, to make that knowledge accessible, we develop a tool called Memex. Memex is a tool right now, it's a combination of a Google search, but for everything you've seen in the past, so for every website, paper, and social media post, um, a Google Docs style highlighting and commenting feature um, that you can use across the entire web, so on all websites and papers and social media posts again, to then start collaborating and having conversations on top of the web content you're seeing. So worldbrain.io um, is a peer-to-peer -to -peer tool and um, we're now building out the peer-to-peer -peer part, specifically the collaboration features, which are quite tricky to do um, if it's not centralized. We actually don't think that decentralization is what we should optimize for in the development of our software. Um, we think decentralization is a tool among many that all should move towards increasing trust in institutions and infrastructure. We think interoperability as a core optimization uh, is mm, more impactful because in the end what it will produce is this kind of free market dynamic where users can leave a service at any given time um, and if they do leave a service and move to another one uh, never lose their data and never lose um, access to their existing social network which then would naturally let people gravitate to the services that suit them the best. And that might be then services that use decentralized technologies under the hood. So meaning, for example, IPFS or a blockchain, like a pure blockchain-based um, technology. What I see um, a lot in the decentralization space as a whole, like we're now talking also about blockchain, um, uh, projects around, so not just decentralized databases like IPFS, or decentralized uh, transport peer-to-peer -peer protocols like lift to peer or so. But as a whole, um, that there is a lot of like um, silver bullet solutions that focus purely on technology. Um, and I hope that over the next couple of years, people realize that there's many more components to a large scale social change that needs to happen. And that doesn't happen if we just focus on one of those. Um, and in particular, one that I would like to highlight is the notion of how we um, share success as communities. And the way we do that right now in the world is uh, through either equity, private equity, stocks, or tokens. These are the three dominant ways of doing it. And what they all do is they do uh, produce a speculative um, environment. And with a speculative environment, we always, as communities, as organizations, optimize for infinite growth, right? Like, because growth in the end is the only thing that matters on how shareholders or token holders make profits. And what that produces is a, a culture that is based on political competition, meaning it's, it creates an elbow society. And the same dynamics that we had in, the, in capitalism as in its current incarnation and that we now have, for example, in token uh, economies is, is exactly the same, right? N just that we have now um, not companies competing against each other on a political level to dominate markets, now it's communities, which is actually kind of worse because now it's people against people uh, and not like at least like anonymous companies in, in that whole. So what I hope is that we um, move to other ways of, of um, measuring success as communities. And yeah, that will be great.